Mysteries throughout the course of history are some of the most fun aspects of history. It's fun not to know, and fun to make speculations and submit ideas. And it's even more fun to uncover archaeological evidence to help prove or debunk theories. But even to this day, there are lots of mysteries we still haven't solved throughout our history. I'm Adam Andrews, and you're watching Bumblebee, and I'm going to tell you about 10 of the top greatest mysteries we still haven't solved. Number 10, the Atalov Pass. In February of 1959, nine skiing and hiking buddies in the mountains of Russia became nine mysteriously dead buddies in the mountains of Russia. When the group who set up camp on a slope never returned back home, people were sent out to search. The first thing they found on February 26th was their camp. An abandoned tent ripped open from the inside. Footprints all around, some barefooted, some with just socks, some wearing only one shoe, led directly to the woods nearby. That is where the first two of nine were found, both wearing just their underwear with no shoes. The other seven people were found over the course of the next few months. At first, hypothermia was the suspected cause, but over time, that made less and less sense. See, one body had evidence of blunt force trauma, another had third degree burns, one had been vomiting blood, one was missing a tongue, and some of their clothing was found to be radioactive. There's just so much going on here and no one knows what happened. All we have are theories. What do you think? Number 9. Ghost Ship In November 1872, the British American ship, the Mary Celeste, set sail from New York headed for Genoa, Italy. The ship was crewed by Captain Benjamin Briggs and seven crew members including Briggs' wife and their daughter. Supplies on board could last for up to about six months, and they had some pretty good stuff on board too, including a sewing machine and an upright piano. So it was really strange in December of 1872 when the Mary Celeste was found adrift in the Atlantic Ocean with no one on board, all its supplies still all accounted for, and it was completely seaworthy. The only thing missing was one lifeboat. The last entry on the logs had nothing about it that was unusual and everything was in ship shape inside the ship too. The big problem is that Captain Briggs, his wife and daughter, and the five crew members were all never seen again. Now we can say pirates, mutiny, or even sea monsters. Some scientists even theorize an explosion that left no evidence happened and I, I don't know how that makes any sense. It is truly a spooky mystery though. Number 8. D.B. Cooper On November 24, 1971, Dan Cooper boarded Northwest Airlines Flight 305 from Portland to Seattle. He was described by those who were there as a man in his mid-40s wearing a dark suit, black tie, and a mother of pearl tie clip, and a neatly pressed white collared shirt. He sat down, lit a cigarette, and ordered a bourbon and soda. Shortly after takeoff, he handed a note to a 23-year-old flight attendant who ignored it, assuming it was just Dan's phone number. I would have just hit him with the classic, uh, I have a boyfriend. But alas, she ignored it, which Dan responded to by saying, Miss, you better take a look at that note. I have a bomb. Cooper took the note back after the flight attendant read it, but his demands were for $200,000 in negotiable American currency, which is about a million dollars today, four parachutes, and a fuel truck standing by in Seattle to refuel the plane on arrival. The plane landed, Dan let the other passengers and two flight attendants leave, and then he asked the plane be flown towards Mexico with a stop in Nevada to refuel. When the plane finally landed in Reno, Dan Cooper was nowhere in sight. The money was never used that we know of, the parachute was never found, and Cooper disappeared into mystery. Number 7. Area 51 This Nevada military base is the epicenter of an undeniably huge amount of speculation and mystery. Even the idea that this base existed at all wasn't confirmed until 2013 and only because the CIA had to respond to the Freedom of Information Act. People theorize about aliens and UFOs, time travel, teleportation, weather control, the Illuminati, and the list goes on and on and on. Evidence tells us that the base may be for the testing and development of weapons, which I'm sure is true to some degree. Alien weapons. Google Maps doesn't show us anything, obviously. 
Google Maps doesn't show us anything, obviously. People who do actually visit there aboard the unmarked jet named Janet don't see much because the windows are shrouded on the way down. And even when the internet tried to raid Area 51 not too long ago, no one actually did it because, well, it's the US military. I mean, knock yourself out if you think that's worth it. It's not. That's all the information I can give you because that's literally all the information I could find. I, there's nothing else. Number six, the Voynich Manuscript. You know, to me, the drawings in the Voynich Manuscript kind of look like little doodles I make in my notebooks when I should be being productive. Maybe not the one that seems to be pregnant women though. I definitely, I definitely would never draw that. And I definitely never wrote like that. The Voynich Manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, who was a Polish collector and bookseller in 1912 when he acquired the 250 page manuscript. It's from around the 15th century and is written in this really cool looking code or some kind of language nobody seems to know. With strange drawings, a lot of which seem to be plants, but plants that don't really resemble any known species on this earth. As far as we know, the very first owner of this book was an alchemist from Prague named George Barisech. But even he discovered it just taking up space uselessly in his library and he had no idea what it said or what it was about either. Some people think Voynich just made it up, but then how do you explain the carbon dating all the way back to the 1400s? It's one of those things we just still can't explain, like everything else on this list, obviously. Number five, mystery epidemic. During a time where we are all a little bit more conscious of possible sickness and epidemics, why not include one from way back in the time of Henry VIII? You see, in 1528, Henry VIII was so terrified of this disease that he would move around to different beds to sleep in every single night. It was a sweating sickness that apparently swept through Europe five times beginning in 1485. The epidemics hit England, Germany, and other European countries, but the origins of the sickness and even the identity of the disease are still kind of unknown. But it sounds pretty terrifying to say the least. You'd start off with a sudden sense of dread, which I mean I get all the time, then be hit with headaches, neck pains, weakness, and a cold sweat over your entire body. Fever, heart palpitations, and dehydration after that, and then within anywhere between 3 to 18 hours, 30 to 50% of people would bite the dust. Weirder still, it popped up randomly in almost random locations, always after extended rainfall or flooding, and usually in the very rich or the very poor. So all of us uh, middle class people are okay. This was definitely a weird one, for sure. Number four, Flannan Isles Lighthouse. Have you ever seen The Lighthouse with Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson? Well, if you haven't, and you don't mind being utterly confused and a little terrified for a whole hour and 50 minutes, then I suggest you watch it. But in the meantime, let's talk about another mysterious lighthouse related story. In the year 1900, three lighthouse keepers, Thomas Marshall, James Ducat, and Donald MacArthur at the Flannan Isles Lighthouse off Scotland's west coast disappeared completely. On December 26th of that year, a fourth man, whose job was to relieve one of the men so they could go home, discovered the lighthouse completely empty with the only other odd thing being an overturned chair. Some people think drowning, some people think they were taken by spies, and of course, there are the sea monsters and Cthulhu theories. Maybe we should ask Willem Dafoe. You might know, he seems pretty messed up. Number three, hey there big guy. From one Scotland based mystery to another. Everyone loves a monster mystery. We've heard of Bigfoot, we've heard of our underwater ally Nessie, but what I hadn't heard of until making this list was the big gray man who is native to the summit and passes of the second highest mountain in Scotland. He has been seen by a few eyewitnesses and has no kind of resemblance to a bear, meaning unlike Bigfoot, it's unlikely that this dude is a mistaken animal. Instead of a hairy dude or a sea monster, the big gray man is described as more than 10 feet tall, human-like, with short hair, broad shoulders, and long arms. Every report says the gravel would crunch beneath his feet. Psychologists have proposed that the few who have supposedly seen and heard the big gray man have been in a state of physical and mental anguish brought on by exhaustion and or isolation. But that's a pretty specific and strange thing to see. Maybe it's a troll, who can say? Can you? Number two, Roanoke. John White was the leader of a group of people who in 1587 founded a colony on Roanoke Island on the outer banks of North Carolina. John left for three years to get more supplies and when he came back, he found that every member of the colony was gone with all the buildings and fortifications dismantled. 
The only real clue to where they could be or could have gone was the word Croatoan, which was carved into a post. Croatoan was the name of a British allied Native American tribe, which White took to mean that this is where the colonists went, to the Croatoan island. But they had it. Some claims say that the colony was attacked by the Powhatan tribe, but there's no evidence of this at all. There was a conflict between colonists and that tribe, but it seems to have been an earlier group of colonists. Some people also think that maybe the colonists integrated with the Croatoan tribe, or maybe other tribes, but there is no evidence of that either. Let me know if there's something I missed, or if you have a theory, because I don't have any. Number one, the pyramids. I think possibly one of the biggest historical mysteries we have yet to figure out revolves around one of the biggest historical landmarks from the ancient world, the pyramids. We have been able to uncover a lot of information surrounding and about the pyramids, but we obviously still don't know everything. And one of the major things we are still trying to figure out is how exactly they were even built in the first place. Over 2 million limestones and granite blocks were used to build the Great Pyramids of Giza. Each piece of masonry weighed about 2.5 tons. So how the hell did they move these giant blocks? Unfortunately, they didn't leave any direct written records of that. A wall painting though, dating back to 1900 BCE, shows a whole bunch of men pulling a large statue on a sled as one person stands at the front pouring water over sand. Honestly, that would be really cool if it were actually how it was done. And it honestly could have been. The dampness of the sand greatly reduced friction by up to as much as 50%, making it much more feasible to haul large amounts of weight. Problem is, we just don't know. There are other mysteries surrounding astronomy and telling time, but construction is probably the biggest one. All right, guys and gals and everyone else, that is the list. What are your theories? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe here at Bumblebee if you've enjoyed the video. I've been Adam Andrews. You can find my social media down below. And until next time, doodles. Number five, mystery I'm gonna develop a whole character here named Chad B from North Carolina. Well, hello there. This Nevada mat 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 m